guys, first video of the Lunar New Year. Shingnin Kwaila. Chuk Mung Namoy. Sun Li Fai Lok. So this video is for the purse lovers out there. I'm gonna be showing you guys what's inside my work bag and what I use to keep it organized on the inside. So the work bag I'm currently using is my Chanel DeVille tote. You guys might have seen me unbox this several months ago. It's still a fairly new bag, but I am really liking it. I think it's a really good size tote bag for day-to-day -day use. It's not heavy. It's really comfortable and conforms really easily. The only downside is when it's raining because there isn't a zipper to zip across the whole top. There's only just a little magnetic button and that doesn't really protect from the sides getting in rain. Luckily it doesn't rain too much in Toronto, but if you live in a rainy climate, do not recommend this type of tote bag. So while I love a good tote bag, obviously sometimes things can get messy inside. So I do tend to gravitate towards bag organizers when I am using a tote bag. The only downfall of using a bag organizer is that while all your items are very nicely organized, you're not able to stuff as much in here as you would if you didn't have a bag organizer. So like if I took out this organizer and just threw all my items in there, I could probably throw in a pair of shoes and a sweater and whatnot, but because this organizer keeps everything standing up, there isn't a lot of room to be stuffing things in there. So first things first, my work laptop is in here. For carrying around to meetings and whatnot, I have this smaller uh, 13 inch MacBook Air, I believe it's what it is. And this one's just really light and a lot easier to carry than my 15 inch laptop or obviously my computer. The great thing about this organizer is it's so easy to just take in and out. I don't really use the interior pockets in here just because I put everything into the organizer. So the organizer itself is from Zumoni. I actually have a 20% off code if you guys are interested in looking into Zumoni. I'll leave it in the description box below. Not sponsored. They just gave me a code to use if you guys want to use it. I also recently got a Zumoni one from my Louis Vuitton Keeple 55, so let me know if you guys want to see that as well. This one has a bunch of compartments. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the main compartment in the middle, 11. I love that these two side compartments fit a water bottle perfectly. If you guys have watched all my designer videos in the past, y'all know that I like to make sure I can carry water in my purse. I have some blotting papers. I like the really thin packs because they're easy to just put into any bag. I have Purell hand sanitizing wipes. I took this on the plane with me. I'm the type of person where when I get on a plane, I take out a wipe, wipe down the seat handles, wipe down the table in front. I'm just wiping everything because the airplane is a cesspool for germs. Also, I was on my way on vacation in January and literally, Every single person on that plane was sick. Our whole waiting area, and once we got on the plane, all I heard was coughing, sneezing, like it was disgusting. And I'm not about to get sick just before I go on vacation. So these are so necessary. Alongside that, that's also why I bring a hand sanitizer with me everywhere. I have one of these in every single one of my purses, travel bags, whatever it may be. This winter has been so brutal with sickness. Like half of my office is sick. Everyone that usually doesn't get sick is sick. I was sick twice in December, which almost never happens. I only get sick twice a year and that's when we have the major season changes, but I was sick twice in December. Like, how does that even happen? Some other hygiene things I have in here is this deodorant. I've been really into natural deodorant lately because it doesn't stop me from sweating, which is not what I want anyways. I feel like it's weird if you like try to stop your body from letting out the liquid that it needs to let out. It's kind of like if you're gonna cry, you don't want to like just hold your tears in your eyes and let them like stay in there. Like you need to let your body get rid of the fluids that it needs to get rid of. But this gets rid of your smell while still letting you sweat. So I've been enjoying this one. It's the Kaya Naturals, the Take Sumi Detox, charcoal deodorant and detox. And I have a bunch of different uh, scents and I keep one in my purse, one in my gym bag, one at home so that it's always available. I also just keep a contact lens case in here because sometimes I put on my contacts and then I leave the house I forget to bring that contact lens case with me and then in the middle of the day if my eyes start to get dry or if I just want to take my contacts off for some reason I find that I'm like oh where is my contacts lens case so just keep one in my bag just in case at all times. And then of course we have some Tide to go. Remember when these things were like really really popular? Well I still buy them. Once every few months, you end up needing to use one of these and you're so glad that it's in your bag. And when other people stain themselves, you are their savior. Of course, I have a hand lotion. I have, again, a hand lotion in every single purse of mine. Guys, these things are like the essentials. That's why I have one in each of my bags so that I'm never without it. This one is the L'Occitane Vanilla Hand Cream. Actually, I need it now because my knuckles are, mm-mm. 
In the winter, every single time I wash my hands, I need to put lotion on because they get immediately dry. I also have a clear lip balm in pretty much every one of my bags. This one is the Laneige Lip Glowy Blah Blah Balm <laughs> in grapefruit. I don't honestly feel like it really smells or tastes like grapefruit. So I would call this scent inaccurate, but you know what? It works and my lips are chapped, so that's what I care about. I also like to carry in my work bag the Sage Peppermint Halo. You know when you're having like a long day and your head starts to hurt or your neck is sore? This is when this thing comes in handy. Whenever I get some sort of a headache, I just like sniff it around my nose a little bit, put some on my temples, or like put it on the back of my neck and I immediately feel a lot more refreshed, awakened. I also find that sometimes that helps you with my anxiety like just having this here and being able to roll it on my skin and focus on like rolling and focus on sniffing and like that kind of takes my mind away from my anxiety at that moment in time so yeah this has been nice and then I have a cute little mirror here this one was from the Moschino Sephora collection it's kind of chunky so this is why I don't keep this one in my purses but I can keep this one in my work bag because there's a little bit more space here on the side here I just clip a little clip um, I always find that I pull my hair back from time to time so Nice to just have that there. In this main compartment, I carry only two things in here and it's only ever these two things in here. It's my card holder, so I don't really carry a wallet anymore. I don't bring cash on me and I'm always just using cards, so I feel like a card holder is way thinner, less bulky, less big. And if it's exactly what I need, just my cards. This one's from YSL. Jen got me this as a gift. I think maybe two, three years ago as a birthday gift. And then I have this bag for all my medicine. I am a walking pharmacy because my anxiety is bad and having medicine helps me feel like it's okay. I can use it whenever I need it and it'll always be there for me. So I always carry with me Pepto. I always carry with me my anxiety medication. I always carry with me Imodium because I always have stomach problems. And, oh, and Zantac. Yeah, those are the four that I always carry with me because it's mostly to do with my stomach. I have a lot of stomach issues, guys. In this pocket back here, I have my AirPods in this really cute case. Look how like iridescent. I don't think you guys can see it on camera, but look how iridescent this case is. And then I have a pen because you never know when you need a pen. And when someone's in a room with you and they're like, oh, does anyone have a pen? You can be that person with the pen. And this is just random stuff that I haven't cleaned up yet. Um, I have here some eyelid tape because my eyelids were acting funky the other day. And usually I don't use eyelid tape during the day because I use it at night and that's when I like train my eyelids. But then I woke up one day and my eyelids were being so funky. It kept like being double and then not being double. And then I'm like, I'm just going to bring some of this eyelid tape with me just in case it like funks up and then I can fix it and whatnot, so I had this in my bag from the other day. I have uh, two lip products in my bag that I haven't cleaned out yet, that I will now. This one is a YSL, uh, ta Ooh, I don't know. It's one of the lip stains, I think, that's a more matte finish. I have two shades of these ones, and I really, really like them both because it stays on really well, like it stains lips. It's like this soft matte look that looks really, really nice. It doesn't look like you're wearing like a straight on lip product. It kind of looks like you're just like, lips are blushing in that color, if that makes sense. And then I have this little Bebe NARS uh, Afterglow Lip Balm. This one is in the shade Dolce Vita. I really like the Afterglow Lip Balms. They make my lips look like I have injections. Every single time I wear them, some people are like, oh my god, like, do you get a bit of a lip injection? But I'm like, nah girl, it's just Afterglow from NARS. So I highly recommend it if you have thinner lips like me and just a bit of a plumper, more uh, pouty look. The original one that's like a clearer shade is really really popular. This one is more of a matte-ish shade. Um, not as shiny as the other one, but the shinier one is the one that makes me look like I have some little bit of enhancements in there. I have Welch fruit snacks that I, uh, I think this was actually from maybe the summer time. I haven't taken this out. I think we were at Center Island and they were handing out free samples to little kids, but Ty and I like grabbed a bunch and I stuffed them in my purse. I also have in here two mints from the airport lounge. Anyways, two mints that I never end up eating. And then I also have a Chimes ginger candy. This stuff is the bomb, guys. If you have indigestion problems, get this stuff because just chewing on like one candy will really help your stomach feel not as burning, like that burning sensation when you get indigestion sometimes, this will help it a lot. And it's not a medicine, it's not like a pill or anything, it's literally just a ginger chew and it helps. And if you're feeling nauseous, ginger chew is also great. I vouch for ginger candies very strongly. And that's all I have. 
in my purse. This is almost more like what's in my bag organizer and less of what's in my bag. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys in the near future. Bye. Chuk mum nam. Fuck! The Vietnamese one is so hard. No, it's because mung and nam. Like, you can't fucking put two words beside each other that are an M and an N. It fucks people up. Chuk nam mung. Fuck. Chuk nam. Chuk nam.